What makes a beast a beast? Is it size, strength, or perhaps a certain wildness in their nature? Let's ponder this query, unraveling the typical attributes we link with beasts, size, might, or an inherent, untamed spirit. Isn't it intriguing how we label and categorize animals based on our perception? Consider the majestic lion, the king of the jungle, or the solitary wolf, feared and respected in equal measure. With their raw power, commanding presence, and fierce independence, they are the epitome of untamed wilderness. These creatures embody the essence of what we perceive as a beast, but are they the only ones? What about the tiny but mighty ant, capable of carrying many times its own weight? Or the humble honeybee, whose sting we fear? Consider the garden spider, building intricate webs to ensnare its prey. Size does not always equate to strength, and even the smallest creatures can be beasts in their own right. So as we see, defining a beast isn't as straightforward as it seems. Beastliness spans beyond size, embracing an animal's spirit. Perhaps the true beast is not defined by size or strength, but by the spirit that lies within.